you follow my channel, you know I love my red dots and optics. Why? Because my eyes are getting older and most of the time the sights are blurry and there you go. Now with that said, I absolutely trust the NoTech and KISS, keep it simple stupid, of iron sights. Now I learned to shoot and even hunted for years with nothing more than iron sights, like a lot of you. Now, there really is not much to change or improve with iron sights, or is there? Let's check out Mepro's FRBS and see. There we got it. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Okay, so I'm working on a review for Delta Team Tactical's Journeyman Rifle. It came with some iron sights, but I ran into some issues with those, and I had these FRBS sights from Mepro, so I got them mounted. What I wanna do is I wanna zero these at 100 yards using my AAC ammo and go from there. Okay, real quick here. These have a lot of different options, okay? There's tritium um, in the rear and in the front. In the rear, we can either have two, one on either side, or you can have the four, you know, the different places on the clock, they go flat. Um, you know, honestly with, honestly, with the tritium, with my eyes, okay, I really can't see them in low light or dark. With that said, I can definitely see the front sight post and I can use these a lot better in low light than I can others. But anyway, take a look at the specs and tech here and check out all the different available options and specifications for these sites. Okay, so just checking out the sites here at 100. I wanna see what I can do with these, um, actually get a pretty good sight picture. Now you got just, just a hint of it there, very visible, okay? We can really see that, that red, ah, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, normally I can't hardly see anything uh, as far as iron sights anymore. I can actually see pretty good with these. I've got uh, some AAC ammo here, and let's just, uh, I've, I've fired off a couple grips. Let's fire off another one. I made an adjustment. Let's go take a look at that. I have seen, I have seen people, and I personally have shot worse with an optic. That's impressive. Uh, that's impressive as hell. Let's go take a look. Okay, so I had the first few shots. Um, I made some adjustments, and this was the last. Uh, yeah, there was three and three, okay? Guys, you know, that that's really, that's not bad for 100 yards using iron sights. Okay, got a gorgeous morning here. I'm gonna try to reach out at 200, maybe 300 
with the iron sights. Uh, just had a bunch of wild turkeys walk right across the dam. So this isn't going to help uh, banging that steel for the future hunting. But hey, let's uh, let's reach down there at 200 and see what we can do. Got some AAC ammo here. Been having great luck with this. All right, here we go, guys. nailing that I, I want to try again here maybe aim a little lower maybe I'm aiming high um, and then we'll try 300 okay those were definitely hits um, I may okay let's give this a go at, at 300 and see if we can hit that steel Have much luck there at three. Okay, so I want to jump back down here to two real fast and see how fast we can get them off on two. <laughs> That's not bad for iron sights. 200 yards. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Um, gosh, got to be able to do that at three. Let's try three again. One thing that I have noticed on the site, and you can kind of see it there, right in the opening, you see that shine, okay? It's, it's painted, but for whatever reason, and you can see it there on my thumbnail, I'm getting a glare off of that. So when I'm looking through there, okay, I am getting a glare. I'm not sure um, why or how. Um, you know, I don't know if kind of some some concentric circles in there, but it is it is obstructing um, my view a little bit anyway, and, and it could just be me. It could be me with the eyes. Okay, so for 300, what I want to do is I'm going to switch it up to here. But see, same thing. I still get a little bit of a glare in there, but uh, let's give this a go at 300. There we got it. Yeah, it's, it's dropping. So it's dropping, and we would expect it to. The problem is, is with iron sights, when you're reaching out at distance like that, if you don't have something to, to quick adjust, you have to, so I, I've got my target here. I have to take the sight, the rear sight post, which will completely obscure the target, and then I have to move it over the top of it so, you know, I can see the top of it, then I move it over the top, and then I pull the trigger. And that was the hit that I got. And that, you know, that's kind of hard to do because you're sort of aiming blind. You see where it's at, then you quick go up, cover it, obscure it, and then pull the trigger. Um, but anyway, there you go. Okay, so this is the first time in a long time I zeroed anything other than 50 yards, and for good reason. Just about every rifle caliber I shoot, if I zero it at 50, the battlefield zero, it puts it on target, for my IDPA steel targets at 50, 100, 200, and 300, was simply aiming center mass. It's KISS, I don't have to think about it. I just aim in the center and I can hit at all those distances. Thus, why it's very popular to use the Battlefield Zero. Now I don't do this with scopes, but I do do it for all iron sights, red dots, and prism optics. I'm working on the 50 yard Battle Zero um, we just fired off a group of three and I was about almost straight two and a half, three inches at nine o'clock. I did four clicks clockwise and hopefully that'll get us in the zero. We'll find out. Sort of the final dialing in and adjusting. We had some nice type groups here. Moved to the right, was doing well, wanted to start over. Um, I had three shots with a cold barrel, okay, like air conditioned, sitting inside. The next three shots, that was the group. That, that's awesome. You know, two there, one there, um, barrels heating up, and then I had three here, but, you know, kind of where the sun's at, um, 
I think I'm going to call that good. You know, adjusting iron sights. Um, yeah, we're going to call that good. Okay, so we got the battle sight. Uh, zero, pretty good there at 50 yards. That should put us on the steel up there at 300. Let's give it a go. <clears throat> Nice. You know, that wasn't too bad at 300 yards with iron sights. Um, Okay, so just real quick here before we end this, show how fast we can get on target standing. We'll, we'll do 100 here, a couple at 100, and try some 200. Nice. All right, let's go 200. Hitting that damn table. There you go, guys. Proof is in the paying. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. This really helps the most. Hit that sub button, like, and comment. Until next time, guys, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Remember, every time we're on the range, every time we're getting trigger time, you're an ambassador for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.